five ways to rock your white blouse. Okay, gang, I am reinstituting another series that I started like two, three years ago, and it's called Fashion Squared. So that is when I take one wardrobe staple, typically a wardrobe staple, but one item, and I'll show you like three ways or five ways to style it. So that's what we're gonna do today with the Mighty White shirt, because that's always one of my wardrobe staples, always makes my top list. So, but before I actually get into styling it, I just wanted to touch on a few things about purchasing a white blouse, um, taking care of a white blouse, or just certain things to think about. So we're going to just take a look at uh, a little bit in depth about the white blouse. And because if we're looking to add a touch of timeless elegance to our wardrobe, look no further than the classic white blouse. It's such a versatile piece. And it's, as I said, it's a wardrobe staple that can be dressed up or down for any occasion. And it's truly one of the most versatile pieces in our closet. It can be knotted, oversized, fitted, buttoned up, or worn as a third layer. And a classic white shirt is always off as appropriate and perfect for a nine to five look. But have you ever wondered how this iconic classic earned the nickname white collar in reference to social class? And I will share, so that I'm just gonna share just a little bit of history. I love to delve into fashion history and we just released a video and we're gonna link it up here. It's fashion history from 1920 to 2020. And, and I just love to share little tidbits with you of how something came into being, but we've all heard of blue collar and white shirts. So it all started way back in the early 19th century or what's commonly called the Victorian era. And back then the working class could not afford to have their clothes laundered as often as the upper class. It was a Saturday chore for most, and we all know a white shirt needs frequent washing to keep it in pristine condition. But a blue collared shirt more readily hides stains. These social conditions led to a distinction between the upper and working classes based solely on their apparel. The terms white collar and blue collar were born. By the end of the 19th century, the white dress shirt with its stiff collar and fitted shape began to evolve and became more affordable. Men were seen everywhere from church to promenades sporting a classic white shirt. Early in the 20th century, the Prince of Wales, and he was definitely a fashion icon, exchanged white shirts in favor of fluid colored ones. Now, the simple white shirt was used less to distinguish class and began to take on the symbol of masculinity, power, and respectability. It wasn't long before businesses like IBM mandated dress codes for their employees and utilized white shirts, but with better manufacturing techniques, the stiff collar was replaced with a relaxed fit and the fit began to change yet again. But how did women begin to incorporate this classic into their wardrobe? Again, we have Coco Chanel to thank when she combined an iconic menswear staple with one of her jersey suits. The difference this time was that the collar was unbuttoned, but the white shirt was now a fashion statement for women. And it wasn't long before movie stars and musicians began to interpret the white shirt. In the 50s, screen actresses like Audrey Hepburn, Grace Kelly, and Marilyn Monroe repurposed the classic white shirt, wearing their versions and catapulting a simple button down into an iconic classic. Does anyone remember the Beatles wearing a black suit, white button down? and tie? Yep, the classic white shirt is definitely a statement. So now I just wanted to go uh, into just a few tips for purchasing your white shirt because we really do need to be thoughtful about the quality of our shirt. And there, uh, honestly, there are so many brands from very, very high end to low end and mid price. So there's definitely a shirt for you, but we want to pay attention to high quality fabric so I always look for a 100% cotton shirt because I think this is the best of all. But I also love a silk shirt and I do love a relaxed look in the summer. So I typically add a white linen blouse into the mix. And then there's different silhouettes. There's sleeveless, short sleeves, and long sleeves. Correct fit and sizing is key because the shirt should be comfortable enough to allow movement yet fitted enough to enhance your figure. And if you're large busted and worry about buttons pulling, consider a white popover blouse. This will give you more ease of movement and you won't have to worry about the buttons popping. And also, I always recommend keeping your white blouse free from details. 
The simpler, the better, as it will be more versatile and easier to wear. And here are just a couple of tips for keeping your white shirt pristine. And first off, you want to wash your white shirt in cold water and pre-treat any obvious stains. Lemons work wonders on stains because their citric acids break down the stains. So I like to squeeze a lemon on the stain, then add salt. Gently rub the lemon juice and salt into the stain, then rinse with water. Repeat until the stain is removed. And honestly, don't use bleach as it breaks down the fibers of your shirt and honestly, it just starts to make it look a little gray or yellow. So now let's take a look at a few tips for wearing your white blouse. And don't worry, I'm gonna style it five different ways, so that's uh, towards the end of the video. But I just like to give added value. I mean, honestly, that's the one thing that I, whenever I'm putting a video together, I always just think about how I can add some value into your life. So that's why I thought we'd take a look at some tips. And if you've made it this far in the video, you might as well hit the subscription box down below and the notification bell. And there are three things you can do to help me grow the channel. Like, share, and comment. Because looking beyond the classic pairings, there are ways to add a unique touch to your white blouse. So consider unexpected twists that will elevate your outfit and make a statement wherever you go. Think about swapping out traditional trousers for a flowy midi skirt or layering a sleek blazer over your blouse for a modern, sophisticated look. Also, play with textures like leather or denim because this can add an interesting contrast to the crispness of a white blouse. By incorporating unexpected elements into your outfit, you can showcase your personal style and stand out from the crowd. Also, since a white shirt is basically a blank slate, it's a blank canvas, so to take it to the next level, don't forget the power of accessories. And I also have a video about accessories, and we'll link that up here too, because accessories, honestly, that's what elevates your outfit, it can make or break your outfit, and then also you can add personality to your outfit with accessories. So don't forget them, don't neglect them, because these are the finishing touches that elevate your look from simple to stunning. So consider adding a statement necklace or a bold pair of earrings to draw attention to your neckline. Or a chic belt can cinch your waist and create a flattering silhouette, while a stylish handbag can tie the whole ensemble together. And experimenting with different textures and patterns is a fun way to add a modern twist to your outfit. So consider pairing your white blouse with a textured skirt or patterned pants to create visual interest. Mixing pieces with different textures such as silk, leather, or knit can add depth and dimension to your look. And don't be afraid to layer patterns like stripes, florals, or polka dots for a bold statement. Playing with textures and patterns allows you to transform your white blouse outfit into a fashion forward ensemble that turns heads. And for a seamless transition from day to night, consider swapping your work trousers for a sleek pair of leather pants or a flowy maxi skirt. This small change can instantly elevate your look and take you from professional to party ready in no time at all. And as I mentioned before, adding statement accessories like bold jewelry or a chic clutch can also help transform your white blouse ensemble for a night out in the town. Remember, it's all about mixing and matching pieces to create a versatile wardrobe that can effortlessly take you from one occasion to the next. So, next time you're stuck on what to wear for a day to night event, just reach for your trusty white blouse and incorporate these styling tips for a look that is effortlessly elegant. Okay, so I know you're all excited about me sharing five different ways on how to wear your blouse. So, because it, as I said, such a versatile wardrobe staple and goes with so many things. So first up, we're gonna take a look at uh, pairing your white blouse with classic denim. Because one way to take your classic white blouse to the next level is by pairing it with a timeless favorite. And for me, that's denim. So the combination of the crispness of a white blouse, with the casual coolness of denim, creates a perfect balance of sophistication and ease. Whether you opt for a classic pair of blue jeans or a trendy denim skirt, the versatility of denim allows you to create a variety of looks that can take you from day to night effortlessly. And the second way to wear your white shirt is with a statement skirt. Because again, this is just another way to elevate your classic white blouse by pairing it with a statement skirt, whether you choose a bold pattern, vibrant color, or unique texture. 
A statement skirt can add a touch of drama and personality to your outfit. By balancing the simplicity of the white blouse with the eye-catching appeal of the skirt, you can create a fashion-forward look that will turn heads wherever you go. And I love skirts, especially when the temps warm up. It's just a really nice alternative to denim or a pair of trousers. But speaking of trousers, pairing your white blouse with tailored pants is outfit number three. When styled correctly, tailored pants and a white shirt can add a cool and effortless vibe to your look. Opt for a pair of pants in a neutral color like black or navy to complement the crispness of your white blouse. You can tuck in your blouse, do a French tuck to create a polished silhouette, or knot the blouse at the waist. Finish off the outfit with sneakers or a pair of strappy sandals for a touch of sophistication. This unexpected pairing of a casual staple with a classic blouse strikes the perfect balance between the comfort and style, making it a versatile option for running errands or meeting up with friends for brunch. Foot number four. And this really is uh, perfect for going to the office and that is layering your white blouse with a blazer. And we can use a very classic blazer like a navy or black and take it to the office, but we can also be very playful with our blazers as well for a fun evening or weekend look. And so you can choose whichever way you want to go. My outfit is definitely for a fun weekend look. It's a pink tweed blazer. I purchased this last year. Uh, Barbiecore pink was super hot back then. And I have a pair of killer pink heels to go with the outfit. And honestly, it's just a very chic, updated look. And outfit number five is a white blouse with shorts. Because shorts are a summer staple but adding a white shirt takes the look from casual to chic. I love to tuck a crisp white blouse into a pair of fitted shorts or wear it unbuttoned as a third layer over a simple tee and shorts. Either way is a great summertime look. And then I have one bonus way to wear your white shirt. And this is just a no brainer come summer and that is over your swimsuit. So just throw it over your favorite swimsuit or bikini for an easy yet stylish way to cover up at the pool or beach. Okay, ladies, I am so happy to reinstitute Fashion Squared. So I hope you found at least one or two outfits that you can take and style your way. Of course, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.